Hello, hello again, and welcome to another tutorial. This time it will be cleaning of lens element in Minolta MC Rockwell PF 1.7 and 50 milli 55 millimeter. And this is the MC2 version. Uh, there are some small difference uh, in between the version 1 and the version 2 but yeah I think it's the coating and but there is also the the crosshead screw in the newer the MC2 version I have the version 1 2 and uh, it's with the slotted screw flathead screw well <clears throat> Let's see, uh, this lens uh, actually looks nice, well, <laughs> but that's on only until I put a uh, light through the lens. And, uh, well, it looks okay, but not really. <laughs> so that's the reason <clears throat> I would like to make a video of how you can clean your nice old lens and uh, probably get it back to life. <coughs> well, it depends on the condition of the lens element and how the how it has been stored. Now, uh, yeah, let's get some tools on the table. <coughs> we need some of those rubber tools. Oh, zoom out a little. <coughs> In a different size, you can get them on Amazon and eBay, or yeah, they simply call lens spinner tool, rubber tool, or whatever name they have. <coughs> those are pretty good, and there are nine different of those. And uh, we need some lens spinner itself. Uh, this is just own old, old compass, which I have filed and grind in different size and uh, we need a um, some fluid I will try to use Eclipse and I will try to use lighter fluid and uh, yeah let's jump into it <coughs> oh hold on a small lens sucker can be very handy in this size or this size. This is from Japan Hobby Tool and uh, the small one here is from a company called Nordson, uh, which you can see here with the different um, tips to put on. Um, so let's let's go into it. First the name plate has to come off. I will just begin with the front lens group. So, um, and for that, I can use uh, this uh, rubber tool to simply put it on here and then unscrew it. But if it's too tight, well, one can use a uh, lens spinner, uh, and if you are not really happy with that. You can also buy some of those uh, different cones. Uh, they came from Japan Hobby Tool, and there are six different uh, tubes. It will say 12 different size. And it's really, really good. I mean, it's more sticky than the other one. You could also, <coughs> if you want hey, uh, the cheap version, this is a rubber stopper uh, you can buy on uh, on the internet from uh, web shops who sell um, things for home brewing and wine and beer and so on and they are very sticky but they get hard uh, over time and you can get them in many different sizes. if they get too hard and not sticky anymore you can just wipe some acetone over it and then it will be very sticky again. 
this is not so sticky again but let's see if it can be used for this <coughs> yeah it goes pretty good so off the the nameplate and next it will be the the actual front lens group um, there's no need to to unscrew the uh, the ring the front ring here so just unscrew the front lens group here and for that I would uh, say a lens spinner like this one this is adjustable an old one and it, it's a good thing because I can simply adjust it to fit perfect on the uh, on the two notches on each side like that but if it can it can happen sometimes they use thread lock to simply um, keep the, the the lens group in place I mean the whole lens assembly uh, here so if it's too tight well we just use some nail polish remover you could also use acetone but uh, this is just a very handy little bottle so and then just add a little on a q-tip and simply add it there should be some holes here and simply add some down here and do it on each side <coughs> Well, I had uh, taken a sneak peek in this lens, so it's not that tight. But anyway, let's see how it, it will go. Whoa. So there it comes off. And so I can just use the uh, rubber tool to unscrew the rest of the... Uh, I mean, it will take too long to, to do with a lens spinner. So therefore, the rubber tool is pretty good. So this is how it looks, simply. And uh, this is uh, the front lens group itself. There are two elements in this one. A big front lens and a smaller lens in here which sits in a, in a retaining ring kind of there's also a retaining ring here on the front there are four notches and I think well they just use a a tube tool with the small fold pins to assemble it but uh, <coughs> there's no need for that I can just use my my lens tool here which works pretty good looks like somebody has been into this before me so there it goes there and I can see they have used some kind of thread lock here as you can see here and over here too so let's get uh, rid of that simply by by use some acetone or nail polish remover and simply add it on here on the edge and let it suck in so it will be wet and it will simply soften the the thread lock and it make it possible to unscrew the uh, the retaining ring that hold the the front lens and sometimes I use a lot Sometimes they just lose, use very little. So have a good grip on the uh, on the tool here, and simply <coughs> so. And then I can just use my not this one. Maybe this one will fit better. To unscrew the retaining ring 
and take off the chaining ring here. So now <coughs> I can just pop it into my hand so and uh, sometimes they cannot come out because the vacuum inside the uh, I mean the, the very tight fit. If it's so I use my lens sucker here simply put it on the, the front here or just press the, the small ball on the back and simply take it gently out. No, why not? Hmm. Well, you see, they put on a small plastic ring here, so uh, it will sit better. So I simply need to put to take that out, and it can can sit pretty tight. Mm -hmm. Well. <clears throat> I will simply use some dentist tool to do that. So it's made of plastic or something like that. And uh, it should face like the see the angle of it is more yeah <laughs> hard to explain but it should sit as it was so with the uh, with the curved side just like this uh, something like that now then it's possible to simply put the sucker on and simply take out the the uh, front lens itself. Actually, there is another lens in here, or is it just a spacer? Well, we'll see. Now, I will do some uh, lens cleaning, and let's see how it looks before I do it. So. Ah, it's not bad but it's not really good <laughs> on the other hand but um, let's see what we can do about it I'll just put it here on a stand so it's safe now er, flip it over so I think I will um, let's see how this will work Probably this one. No, it's too big. No, too small. Maybe this one. Just to see if it, if there is any lens that comes out. No, not really. Because the next lens is um, sitting from the back. There is a retaining ring here that uh, needs to be unscrewed. So how to do that? Well, <coughs> you cannot use any lens tool, but you simply need to use a uh, rubber tool. And those cones are really handy in that case. So simply put this on here, in here, and this here, and simply <coughs> unscrew it. So there it goes, and need to put it somewhere. So I will simply just let it fall down here if it's possible. As you can see, there are more than 
Actually, there are three lens elements on the front. Okay. It's because I only took a sneak peek in the front lens group, but uh, I didn't take all the lens element out. So, of course, the next lens element from the front will also need to come out. And for that, the uh, the uh, lens sucker is very handy to do that. So how does it actually look if we just set it up? <coughs> Something like there. And it looks actually like that. So that's the, the front, the next and the last the back of the front lens group. So this is how it looks just in case you are not sure how it should sit. Now time to do the actual cleaning process. How does this lens actually look? I mean not bad. Not bad. It could be worse. <laughs> so uh, I need to put them on some stand. Mm. I think we'll just do the the in the middle lens element. Uh, it cannot fit there. Okay, I will do the the front lens itself first. Uh, no, the back, so I can put it in first. <laughs> Need some some plan. Now, <clears throat> I need some uh, lens tissue, and it would be the uh, peg pad. And uh, I find out, okay, why use a whole piece of lens tissue? So I cut them smaller. As you can see here, it's more handy to work with. And of course, cheaper. <laughs> Not to forget. So, uh, I think I will begin with the lighter fluid. Sometimes it works really good, and sometimes not. But it depends on it depends on what's on. So simply there and let's see how it will look. Not good enough. <clears throat> Simply just do it again. And maybe it's uh, it will work with the uh, lens cleaner itself. Okay, that was much better. I would guess so. There's something on there. Hmm. Just do it again with another one. Sometimes you can do it three or four times. And uh, well, so it is. I think I will need a better stand for this one. Not this one, but this one so it can... So I have a safer place to...
sorry, <laughs> out of frame. It seems to work pretty good. So I'll just do the the front of that lens and put it back into the into the uh, housing. Well, sometimes it needs some pressure on it. The, I mean, the flutium cannot do it itself, so it can need a light pressure. Wow, it looks really, really good, much better than it was. So I will simply just put it in back here. So <sighs> there was some there was something on here. So I'll just do it again. There was something on the edge of the uh, of the re lens housing. Yeah, so we are back on track. Mm -hmm. So and put the retaining ring on. <clears throat> I will tighten it later. Now the inner lens element will also need some cleaning and uh, I think I will do the the curved outside first but I don't think it Mm. Will it be there or do I need some other stand? Maybe this one is... nah. Okay, this one is okay. I will do the actual cleaning after. So, a lens tissue. And it's a very deep lens. So it can be a little hard to to clean. Okay, it's not that big as I thought. Yeah, we'll give it another go. It looks like it uh, it works. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So the outside of that lens. And when I am done with this one, it can look like it is not that good. Anyway, so uh, sometimes I try to use the Eclipse sensor cleaner. Yeah, this one is not that. It's simply too. S this is too big to, for that lens. So I need to do it again. Mm hmm.
just have a light charge on it and then out. Wow, <laughs> that's just amazing. I mean, there was some there. There was just this tiny spot. Tiny spot here. Really, really good. And this uh, lens will just, I will just put it in again. Just need to clean this small thingy. There was some kind of dirt on it. And so the this ring here goes in and I don't want to scratch anything so there was some small hair that was just my light <laughs> hmm okay let's see and I even touch the glass, not at all. It's amazing how small hairs sometimes can just fool around. And uh, there. And uh, I need to cover it something so now the <coughs> front lens itself I will just clean the the outside first then the inside of the lens and I probably need a, a bigger lens tissue no I think I'll just use a smaller one I mean, it's not that big. <laughs> okay, what do you mind? Stay there. Small lens. <laughs> that's, that's not good. The surface here is simply to sometimes it's simply to to uh, what do you say <laughs> shiny or something but maybe this one can okay this one may be better it, it looks like just to be sure it will stay there <clears throat> it could be very handy with some small uh, kind of sticky rubber to put uh, where the lens can stay on. So, and there we are there. There's something on the surface that does not come off here, but it's it's more the inside that is interesting. 
So let's see how it will go. Mm -hmm. There and it's good to have those small one. Now, <coughs> now I will simply try to to use the just put it on here and simply draw the lens tissue over just with a light pressure. Yeah, <clears throat> it didn't go that well. So I need to press a little more on this. Mm -hmm. No, it works better with uh, simply just move it around circles and uh, go all the way out to the edge and then out yeah now it's absolutely clean just amazing It's just on the front doesn't matter so I, I will just put this lens back into the to the uh, lens assembly there's something on the front here which I can see and there is some <laughs> and uh, not to forget the the plastic ring so no not this one maybe this one is, yeah. Put it on here <clears throat> so I can work safely with it. And uh, what I cutting but to help a little it will sometimes make it easier especially on the edge yes and of course I need to do it again See, there are some specs, but I think I will try to use the clips, see how it will go. Sometimes it works better, sometimes not. <laughs> well, 
well it helps it actually helps a lot so I will put the uh, the plastic ring on here well I will just want to see how it actually looks through the lens oh there is still something on the back here in uh, inside I mean on the back of the of the uh, of the back lens element on the <laughs> front lens group so Sometimes it's easy to take away and sometimes one arm not lucky. This plastic ring is a bit annoying. So, sits there. So, now this uh, ring comes on, and this one to tighten it. So, it is there safe in place. So, and there was something on here which need to have a little attention and I will just uh, use some clips to see how well it will go yeah that's good really really good I mean much much better so I will simply just put this uh, lens back into the into the lens assembly put it over here and do so And the nameplate, of course, also will come on. Just uh, go clock and uh, I mean <laughs> counterclockwise to catch the thread. It will be <laughs> there. So. Now the next part is uh, the back lens group and to unscrew that I will use my uh, smaller uh, lens compass tool and simply unscrew it here. <coughs> oh. See it's hard. Try again. It's important to have a very good grip so you not scratch the lens element or the the aluminium. So this is how it looks. The the lens looks much better. <laughs> yeah, put this aside and then I will continue with this. So I will begin with the back lens element. And for that, I also need to use my uh, 
my smaller compound lens tool and fit it there. I think it's possible. Because a rubber tool mm, is not that good for that. So it's free. So, yeah, I loosen it, and uh, then maybe this one can be used for that. Yeah, hmm. maybe this one is better. You see, they have also used some dreadlock here in the past. So uh, if the retaining ring is too tight, you simply use some uh, yeah, nail polish remover and a cotton butt to add it on here. It was not the problem in this case, but it could be. So off with the with the ring and then where's my tool here simply use the, the lens server here and simply take out the lens element and how does it look Not good, but uh, let's see. Let's see how it can be. Now, <clears throat> the way it should face, if we see it from here, it has a flat side, flat surface, and a curved side, and it should face like this when it's correct. So it is. The curved side here is the the back. I mean the the back of this. Now <clears throat> do some cleaning, and for that I can use this stand. Yes, fine. And it's good to have something to put on. I mean, put it on. So you're more safer to work with. Now a small lens tissue, and I will just uh, well, use the lighter fluid here. See how it will act. Okay, will you stay there? Is it on the other side? Yes, it was on the other. The inside looks really good now. So I'll just take the outside. <coughs> so we are almost there. And how will it go? Wow, <laughs> it's absolutely clear as water. Well, there are some thing over here, <coughs> and it cannot maybe be taken away. But I will just try with the eclipse, see how it will work. There 
is no standard solution for cleaning lens. There's some scratch there. Hmm. Well, just do it again. Lighter fluid. Some of those uh, lenses have a maybe softer coating. So uh, it can be that it you have to take care of how much you press on it. So fine. And just need to put this in here. Whoa. Okay, one hair should come inside. Yes, so it is, but it doesn't really matter because uh, I need to do the the other lens element also. So let's see how it will go with that. There. and then <laughs> tighten it. Now the uh, other element of the uh, back lens group will come out and it's the same here. They can have used some thread lock as you maybe can see here. There they have used some and over here too. Uh, that's why I think somebody else has been into the lens before me because it was easy to unscrew. So and the tanning ring here. Oh come on little fellow. And this lens is a cemented lens. Just just flip it over and let it fall into. Mm -hmm. So I will try to use the lens sucker and here yeah, here it comes. Interesting. And uh, so I will also get rid of those small hair that went into here. Away with those. So, so this is how it looks, this lens. There's some white stuff here. Hmm. I don't know what it is. It's probably when they uh, assemble the lens and the retaining ring here. Yeah, there's something on. Doesn't matter. So I will just begin with this surface. Or maybe. I think we will begin with that. And another lens tissue. <laughs> and some lighter fluid. Wow, clear. Is absolutely clear. Amazing. 
but it was not the worst of the lens. It was the on the front. Let's see it he let's see how it will go here. absolutely amazing. Now I can just put this uh, cemented lens back into place and assemble the rest of the of the uh, of the lens here. So hmm Yeah, I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. So where did it go here? So. And then I just need to to tighten it, and then it could be back into the lens body. So there's something on the back here which I cannot get rid of on the outside here. But it looks so much better. So time to put it back into here. And then we are almost there. A smaller one here. Have a great good grip on one and then gently press the comp other leg of the compass over and then <coughs> sew it there. Wow! I think it looks much better but will it be that well as you can see we can actually see the uh, like before it was really dusty and now it's it's really good so another succeeded lens cleaning I think it's interesting because to see how um, it's possible to get those lens back to life. Hope you can use the um, information in this uh, video. So there will be more videos about anything, yeah, photo related stuff. So bye bye.